Hello everybody and welcome back to Stacia Expert Mode. And in this episode, we build ourselves our house. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so... Today we are going to be building our house, but first I was doing a bit of mining so we can gather up a bit more marble because I want to build my house out of marble and wood. Uh, well, I was mining in this mountain up above my house and I managed to find another spider spawner, like a regular dungeon spawner room. And in this chest, there is a backpack, which is something I actually did look at making, but I didn't have any leather to. But I don't have to anymore since now we actually found one. So that's pretty cool. So this backpack can actually go in here and replace this stupid backpack, which is not any good. Like the size of this one compared to this one, this is like a chest inventory, but you can also upgrade this backpack with uh, iron. Surrounded with iron to make an iron backpack, it has even more spots than gold and diamond and netherite, making the backpack massive. I think even bigger than the ba biggest backpack here. And also this backpack can do the whole stuff where this backpack can actually do uh, really nice things like auto feed you, have a magnet mode to pick up items. It can even swap out your tools depending on what block you're looking at. So if I'm making stone, it'll switch to my pickaxe. If I'm going to break some dirt, it'll switch to my shovel. Pretty cool. So I'm actually going to take this uh, spawner. Wait. Oh, I have a torch in my hand. That's why. I was wondering why I couldn't pick it up. But I'm going to take this back down to the other spider spawner and put it next to it. So that way we can actually have multiple spawners. Uh, which way is the way out again? I think it's this way. Uh, yeah, it's up here to the right. Remember going through this hole. There it is. So yeah, you can see I'm up here above the house where the villager was trapped in that fence. But now he's gone. But now I have two cats in there. So maybe I'll get myself a pet cat. Uh, right. So let's come down here. Put this down. And I've already started laying out the foundations of the base. You can see it over there. Uh, just to give myself a rough idea and a quick head start so I don't spend like hours trying to figure out what I'm doing. Uh, so now we can put down the torches on the thing. Uh, that should stop it from spawning. But we will have to work on making those uh, into mob farms now soon. And because mob grinding utils is in here, we can go over and sample the DNA of any mob and just make a spawn egg of it. So, so much better. And I've also gone through and smelted down nearly all of the ores right now. I think I'm out of lava in here. So I can't smell that much more osmium. Lava burns through out of this thing very, very fast. And also, my poor villager that was in here somehow got turned into a zombie. There was like a, a horde of zombies for some reason. And there was like 20 of them. I don't know where they all came from. But for some reason, 20... Oh my god, hello. But 20 zombies came along and I think they got close enough to the corner here to be able to hit him. And they turned him into a zombie villager. But the thing is, he has been here for a while now. Like, I've been here on this game for a good few hours now already. Like, smelting down all the ores and gathering a few resources for the house. And he hasn't despawned. So I'm guessing if you've already traded with a villager and he changes, he won't despawn. So meaning I have a chance of curing him now in the future. I want to go kill that enderman. Don't teleport away before I get to you. Because I want this ender pearl. So I'd like to get gather up a bit of ender pearl dust now. So soon we can actually... Oh, and we've got a grass block. So that way we can actually go find the end stronghold now soon. Oh my god, perfect timing. A, a llama guy is here. Or a wandering trader. Uh, what are you selling today? And... Oh my god. Sharpness 10? Mending, Hell Infusion 5, Capturing 2, Looting and Unbreaking. I don't even have the emeralds to comprehend buying this yet. Oh my god, I need emeralds. All I've got is about four emeralds and I was going to turn that into armor, but I can't. Oh, I don't even have... Oh, that is so annoying now. But just knowing that uh, Wandering Traders can give those type of enchants on tools... Gives me hope that later on, if I ever get a capturing enchant and capture a wandering trader, we might be able to, like, you know, duplicate him and just keep spawning them and buying whatever OP stuff he does sell. Could be a cool thing to do. Anyway. Oh, God damn, I keep breaking this thing. Um, Yeah, let's just grab all this up. But, okay, yeah, forget that. Uh, let's go over here and now I'll show you what I've done with the house or what we're going to do with the house. Let's put this away. So we're not going to build the same house as I usually do. This is the type of house we're going to build now. So what's going to happen is this is going to have a staircase up here and it's this is going to be like the basement level. So this is all going to be basement level. 
And we're going to have a staircase going up into a double door. But we're going to also have like a walkway or that balcony on the front of the house. And another balcony right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to build it up. And then put a flat roof on it. And then we're going to build another little house on the side. On the top of it. So we're going to make that into our bedroom. And that's going to have doors out onto the roof. And then we'll be able to build a staircase. I'm thinking of building like an arched hallway. Hallway into the mountainside there. And have a staircase that goes up and then around and build a big balcony slash walkway across the side of this mountain here. And we might even like try and build something up there too. Uh, don't know what just yet. I still don't know why I'm going to do my factories. We've got this huge flat area. So we probably will be doing little factories out over and around the place. But this place will become industrialized. Because I was looking more at the recipes and oh my god they are difficult. Like, even just a steel casing. Uh, no, that's the wrong steel. Steel. A steel casing from mechanism has to come from the power of the stars. So, here's a steel casing. And, yeah, we need a celestial altar. Or we can use the combination crafting. But just look at this. Like, we need to go through this whole system of making redstone flux coils, which is this whole mess. And then to reinforce things, it's going to require steel, and steel is just another mess. Advanced coils has to be mana infusion. I, uh, oh my god. And then just the metallurgic infuser is creates an oil, or this disc creates the oil. Like, oh my god, the recipes in this thing are going to be so difficult. I'm going to be relearning everything I already, taught, I already knew about modded. Right, uh, so back to building this house. I probably talked way long enough. I have a few resources in this chest right here. So we've got a few logs and building blocks. So we'll just grab us a marble, a stack of this and a stack of that. And I'm going to show you what I want to do. Uh, I probably should make myself a crafting table then as well. Uh, just out for out here. So I'm going to put this guy here. And now we're going to turn a couple of these into planks. And then we're going to make it into stairs. And then we're going to build our staircase up. So staircases are going to go like this. And this is where these are going to go. So they're going to go up like this. I built this already in creative, so I do have screenshots of what I need to do, so I remember what I'm doing. That's going to go there, and then we're going to grab our planks. I need more planks. And then we're going to get the planks, and we're going to build a little bit of a balcony, about three or two blocks wide here. And this is going to go right over to the edge here, and then we're going to build up the rest in marble. I should probably make myself a builder's one, to be honest. Actually, I think I already did with an iron one, but I definitely would like a diamond one. So let's go back up here and build up. Um, I don't know if I built up all the way on the corners. I might have to double check. I don't think I actually do. I think I use fences there. Let me just swap, look up the screenshot. All right, so I actually built up tree here like this. And then I put a oak plank on top. Let's grab some oak. And I put the oak plank on top here and here. Wait, what? Here we go. And then what I think I do is from here, it only goes over two. And then we want to build up this. And then we want to you know, we continue in the floor here because then the marble is going to go across like this. They'll have a bit of a walkway to here and then everything will be grand. But I actually think I remove this part and turn this into uh, planks as well. Because then there's going to be a ring of oak stairs that kind of hide this. So that can go there, and then it'd be oak stairs. Let me get the oak stairs now. And it'd be upside down oak stairs right here. And I actually think these go up one more like that. There we go. So you can see this way it hides it, and this actually needs to be broken. Because it's going to be a window there. And then this comes around the corner, and then hides that piece there. So you can just see this. So I could also break this and turn this into planks. And then I run a fence along the edge of this here, the whole way around the house. So that's kind of what I'm going to do for this. And since this is a tree white stairs, it's only going to be a single door right there. So you can see this is where the door will be. And then there'll be a one block gap and then a three wide window. And then it will be a two block gap and then it'll turn a corner right here. And then the same here, it's going to be a three wide window. Um go across and build out this and build this guy up keep forgetting which way I'm doing this kind of window part here um so let me just get back up here 
There we are. And build you up if I can reach it. There we go. And then this guy's going to come around the corner. But he's going to have a, a log in the corner here then as well. So let me just build up here. I will remove the pole down at the bottom because that's going to be visible in the basement otherwise. And then do this. So it is now tree wide. One thing I'm just realizing is why is that like that? I thought, why is that two and then that's one? I might have messed something up here, but you know what? I think it's actually okay. Because then when it goes around the corner, there'll be another window right here. There we go. And then this will go all the way into the back wall here. There we go. So I'm going to build, finish building this first floor and then we'll work on building the upstairs floor now in a second. So give me a second to build this. Okay, um, so I've got the house to this point here, but something happened while I was building. I went AFK so I could do something and I got killed by a zombie. Uh, I forgot I AFK like outside, which probably wasn't the best thing to do. Um, but yeah, so I've lost all my XP, had over I think 50 levels and now I've lost all that. That is not great, but I've got the house to this point here. Now I've I think I've done a lot more and I did mess up quite a bit um, when I first laid out the area. I didn't make the house deep enough, so I had to expand it more into the wall. But then even at that, if I keep going into the wall, it would have been too much. So I had to bring the house forward a couple of blocks. But I think I have it to the point now where it's actually right. So the room is a perfect size. And if I come upstairs, I kind of started laying out the area of the house up here. And this is all correct. So we've got a balcony that overlooks here. We've got a walkway up here that we can walk on our roof. And then I want to build an arch here with a staircase that comes up there. So that's the plan that we're going to do now in a minute. So we need to continue building this part of the house now. So if we come back down here and grab some more marble, which I left in the chest. And I think I smelted up some glass. So we'll start to grab that now and make some glass windows. So 62 glass and then we make some glass panes and oh yeah the zombie I killed dropped his own backpack which is kind of cool Um, he didn't there's nothing in the backpack which is kind of disappointing so we might make ourselves some upgrades next episode for the backpack So glass panes put them in and I do have Optifine installed so I can um Enable the tessellation so where it, it won't show the border between the glasses when they're connected so Connected textures are on and it just looks so much better because otherwise I'd have to use Tinker's Construct clear glass to be able to make it so I can't see the seams. Uh, so along the back here, it's a solid wall and I don't know how tall I made this place. I think I made it like about five or six tall. So if we come up here and go up because then here I had a two tall window. So that will go there and then the door of course is like this size. Like that. Come up here and do the same again. So this is a too tall window. And I can't remember which way I've done the actual like roof part. So we'll come back to that now in a second. Here across the glass. There we are. And build this there. I know this episode is just building, but I want to try and include as much stuff as I can. Um, but not like overload it with just like constant mining and building. I would try and do some mining and building off camera if possible or if it's something hugely complicated and it's going to cause drastic changes then I will include it but I just wanted to show you how I'm building my house because I don't want to go back to the basic house I used to use before. So I need to grab out more uh, oak and I know I have plenty of oak inside. So let me grab that because I did chop down a ton of trees before. Uh, that's Bruce, okay, good. And there's all the oak. Right, so I want to cut down a load of the oak down at the planks and make a load more stairs. Because uh, I'm going to need actually quite a bit of these stairs now. Uh, I should almost have enough now. Okay, I have plenty stairs. Now I need a ton of spruce stairs. Uh, I don't even know if I have enough wood to make enough spruce. Do I have to go over and chop down more trees? I might need to. Uh, that might be possible. All right. Let's come up here and continue building this roof. Now, I'm trying. let me open the screenshot so I can see what way I've done this roof. I can't necessarily remember off the top of my head. Okay, so it goes up like that. And then if I grab myself the oak stairs and the oak stairs come off the side. So it comes down like this and then out one like this. 
the oak is just to outline the actual wall or the actual not the wall the the what what they call it the frame of the roof i am out of spruce now and i don't think i have any left in the chest over here if i don't i'm gonna have to go all the way over there because over there is where all the spruce has been growing so you can see all the spruce trees uh, so i'll have to head over there and get more there is spruce growing on top of the mountain here okay i do have spruce logs okay that's good yeah there is spruce growing on top of the mountain but it's like shrubs so there's only like one block per tree so it's not the best thing to try and mine or harvest so let's build up and then this thing comes out this way and then out one more like this and if i can place it nope not upside down actually no the wand will place it perfect there we go so then i want to have the spruce to go along here and that will come out like this uh actually not here because this is where the oak is going to go and this frames the whole lot so let's do this here and then out there we are now i'll go up there and put this one here and now i think i just grabbed the marble and then that there stair and then stair and then other stair there we go so that's the way the roof is going to look so now i just have to run this around and build up the entire roof now all right there we go so that's the, the spruce done now we just need to outline it in oops uh, i slipped and now we just put down the oh for god's sake would you place the right way there we go now the same over here so oh my god i'm gonna scream can the i hate stairs in minecraft why does it never placed i'm gonna break something <laughs> this is actually infuriating okay now i need to go grab some slabs so let's jump down and actually let me just do this so it looks a little bit better not just a so blocky of a shape there we go uh wait need one more here and let me go down and make some slabs now all right so actually while we're inside here let's put the roof up now as well probably have to get some torches i forgot to bring torches do i have it in my backpack oh wait no i don't have that backpack anymore um but yeah we'll just put this down i actually did make myself a diamond builder's wand i don't know if i actually mentioned that um but oh my god i hate when things split in your inventory oh, stupid stairs there we go uh actually i didn't realize how am i gonna get back up on the roof here i didn't actually think about that i guess I'll just use some dirt okay i need one more level there we are all right there we go and now i want to grab the oak slabs i made and this is what's going to top the roof here so the whole thing has a bit of variation and overall looks quite nice i think i have to come down to here there we go just to fill in that gap and now we're actually near the height of this uh part of the cliff here so i think that's it now except for putting these down so let's go over here and now like this oops that's one too many nope there we go so the only thing left to do now is to actually go over there and shear some leaves or even shear some leaves from here actually that bush right there will do perfect and i need to put the glass panes down in the bottom basement windows and i think that's pretty much it for the house except for just lighting it up now so i'm gonna quickly sleep and eat and then we'll go into decoration mode okay so shears are apparently the normal recipe so that's great so i can just come over here break the leaves nice right so now with the leaves we can just add a bit of decoration by just plopping down these like randomly uh pretty good um okay it does cover up that you have a bit of a gap and variation and stuff yep that'll do um i need some torches now i forgot to get the torches they should be in this chest here no already in okay that's two. Oh, there's 28 of them okay there we go so press f7 and there goes my frame rate but now we can see where everything is and also can someone explain to me why the minecraft music starts playing when it's turned off i don't know you probably can't hear it because of the other mu background music but it doesn't make any sense to me like why does it play when it's turned off it's like it has a mind of its own 
You know what? I'm probably going to probably look into making some feral lanterns. The feral lanterns would be better than just spamming torches everywhere. Because right now, this is kind of just turning into a big mess. Uh, torches everywhere is not the prettiest thing. Um, but it's the only way I can get stuff done at the moment. And actually, the way I'm looking at that wall, I think this roof is meant to be one more higher. So you can see the border of the room. I might need to raise this up one. But let's just get down all these torches first. And then we can worry about that. And uh, we have to look in what furniture mods we have in here. I'm pretty sure there is a few of them in here. Uh, especially like the, the one with the Mr. Is it Blockhead? I can't remember. Mr. Crayfish. Uh, but I noticed cooking for Blockheads. That's the one I'm thinking of. So if we look at like Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, we can probably pick out some nice things to add. Uh, is there a center in this thing? Looks like here. Uh, now I'm out of torches, but... Once I get a feral lantern, how difficult are feral lanterns? Feral lanterns. So glowstone is the only thing I don't have. And there's one actually part of the roof here I forgot to add. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty much the decoration of the house now. So I'm going to go off and get a load of furniture now. And then we can add that in and then we'll call it there. Okay, so I've got a few things here. I've got myself a sofa, kitchen drawers, which I'm going to use as bedside cabinets and stuff. I've got some tables, kitchen counters mailboxes and a fridge uh probably could make a lot more like some blinds and stuff but for now this will do so i want to put myself a mailbox right there which is nice and we'll come inside and now we'll decide where we're going to put the kitchen we're going to put in the kitchen in this corner here so we got to sell the sink uh a kitchen counter and then we got to sell the corner which i want to place the other way nope can i place it correctly or does it have to be okay so that'll do, and then we get ourselves our fridge, which I'm going to put uh, right, not in front of the window, actually. I'll put the fridge right there, because then we'll have the sink counter, and then we'll put the oven and stuff right there with another blank kitchen counter. Uh, so that's what we'll do there. So in terms of this, I'm going to put the sofa. Um, Actually, I don't know where to put the sofa. There is a mob in the roof here, so... rid of this guy there we go that should be him gone nice okay so i want to put a cabinet next to here because this is where my bed is going to go then downstairs if we want a table you know what? i'm actually going to put a table right here too and then downstairs we'll put a set of tables like right here and then the sofas uh they can go I don't actually know where. Like, if I want to say the TV, if there was going to be a TV in here, uh, you know, what? I'll just put it under the window here. Um, I probably need another one, but I'll, I'll try and make more. I just, there's not enough sheep around. Uh, I'd travel all the way over there to get the wool just to make that here. So that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, so next episode, what would we do next episode? So if we have a look at the quests here. Uh, it wants us to start making the alloy machine frame so we can start working on better machines and start working into maybe mechanism. But even mechanism is still going to be a far bit away because we still need to unlock, like, where does the mechanism stuff start? Looks like it wants us to make the metallurgic infuser first. So if we're going into that, we need to make some star metal, which comes from, I hear walking. Is there a creeper next to me? Or is there something else? Actually, I think there's something under here. Yeah, I always, there always is one. I'm going to have to go through and light up this entire base then. So maybe next episode we'll start uh, immersive engineering. So we can start working on making some blast furnaces. So creosote oil and making some coke oil and steel. So I think that's what we'll do. And I'll finish decorating this house and lighting it all up. Adding more bushes and everything around. Uh, let me actually, while we have the oak kitchen drawers here. I might as well add like maybe one up here. Like that. And then like maybe one right here yeah that's nice enough uh actually maybe i'll put the couch right there the way this is here if i put the tv kind of like in the corner here i can put the, t the couches right there yeah that works i'll put it if there is there such thing as a tv in here tv television no uh but i might put down some maybe screens or something is there a screen 
uh, information screens from RF tools. Maybe we'll look into maybe putting down some of them. So that'd be cool. So I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you on the next episode. So without further ado, goodbye.